If you have the North Node in Capricorn or Rahu in Capricorn, then you're going to want to stay tuned because this is the work access getting you out of your comfort zone. Ladies and gentlemen, if you feel like you have not been respected in your career and the one that actually feels authentic to you, the one you feel like I was born to do this, then this is the presentation that you're going to want to see. The early bird is ending February 23rd and we're going to begin at the spring equinox calling all Capricorn boss-like energies who want to leave the security and the dependence they have on others. All right. Check this out, and then we'll get full into the presentation of Rahu and Capricorn, Rahu in the 10th house, Cancer and K2, Cancer in the 4th house, otherwise known as the North Node and the South Node. We'll tap in. See you soon. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is your Astro Shaman inspiring brilliance with all call practices in astrology. We're doing this through esoteric surgery. And one of the ways you're going to learn more about that is through the stomach, which is our next focus during our Tai Chi healing and our membership meet. So check it out coming up this Sunday. We're going to be doing healing with the South Node in Cancer. So if you have a South Node in Cancer, this is going to be the class that you want to make sure you are a part of. Now, with that said, um, the North Node is in Capricorn for this video. If you have this, this will be highly pertinent for you. But I've also understood that there are other placements that we'll discuss later that will kind of link and relate to this. So if you don't have those, but you have a lot of Capricorn placements or a lot of Cancer placements, there's something you want to pay attention to and kind of plug and play. So now we're also talking about Rahu in the 10th house, Rahu in Capricorn, K2 in Cancer, K2 in the 4th house. So 10th house, 4th house access is a lot about privacy as well as, you know, stepping out into the world and facing your enemies. When I say your enemies, I'm talking about the enemies of the world, the enemies of society, the enemies of your comforts. So in order for you to, to attain comforts, you're going to have to separate, which is what K2 is asking of us. K2 is asking for us to separate from our pleasures, from our emotional outbursts and manipulations because we understand the emotions of the people that we are dealing with within our clan, our tribe, our farm, which is some of the past life of cancer. With K2 and cancer, K2 in the fourth house, you identified with a tribe. You identified with a clan. Now in the tenth house, what are you identifying with? You're identifying with what it means to be respected. What it means to actually attain and achieve status. Rahu loves the tenth house. Why? Because Rahu loves creating all material things, all material lust, all material possessions, and at the 10th house, you're at the height of that. So Rahu loves being in the 10th house, 2nd house, and the 6th house. Now, Rahu and Capricorn is kind of one of these energies where Rahu is saying, I want you to let go of your silly, immature, emotional outbursts. I want you to let go of what you think this job means to you just because it brings you money, just because it brings you the basic necessities. It puts food on your back. Rahu will literally be part of work, an energy that works with K2 and Cancer and take that home that you love away from you so if you're getting these inclinations that it's time to move out the house move out your family's home and you have this access for example but you don't do it rahu will make it so that your parents become unbearable and it forces you out the house whether you're ready or not all right so here's what i have for some of the things on the membership that you want to go ahead and, and check in i have a presentation here and give me a moment all right, so we're going to talk about some of the headlines, some of the major keys, the remedies that you can work with with this. We're going to talk and give you some insights on what Rahu in the 10th house want, what K2 wants in the 10th house, or K2 wants in the 4th house, or Cancer. We're going to tell you about the needs, romance, integrity, your superpower. We're going to give some affirmations away, some self-reflection questions, as well as what are you here to develop? What is your Achilles heel? 
What are the illusions that you have from your past life as cancer, K2 and cancer? And what's your past identity? Again, another K2 element. So these are some of the themes. And now we're gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one away from each of these and kind of go ahead and give them to you so that you can decide if it's worth you come in and check us out with a membership, right? So we're going to start off, and we always start off with some breath work. We always start off with um, some, some Qigong or some Tai Chi movements based and related off the zodiac. So who is the stomach? Okay, cancer. So we're going to show you the sounds associated with this through traditional Chinese medicine, some of the uh, healings of what particular emotions are related to this. The stomach in cancer, K2, when you have this placement, it's making it difficult for you to digest difficult situations, to digest life out in the public world and the enemies and the stress and the, and the drama that you're going to meet with trying and attempting to feed Rahu, which wants you to go for success, take life by the horns and say, this is what it means for me to be respected. I require this validation. And it's not a gain in validation from your actual family, but it's gaining validation from your status in the world, your achievements. Okay? <laughs> I got the wind. The wind is, is, is rolling with me right now, so forgive me on this. Okay, so here we have it. Related body parts as well, actually going to be with the stomach, um, the mouth, the lips, the muscle tissues, okay, which does what? Wraps and support around the spine, wraps and support around the knees, right? So these are some of the things they're going to later to. The environment of the stomach is obviously is damp, all right? I'm going to go more into this. Remedies, we're going to talk about um, what time is the stomach, okay? What time is the stomach? The stomach has a time. The cancer has a time that it operates between and its digestion, which allows you to better process internalized thoughts as well as emotions. So with the past life in K2 and cancer, for example, you're trying to internalize, you, you, you naturally will internalize the emotions of your tribe, your clan, your people. And it's very debilitating. Cancer is very dependable in this position. Now, some of the headlines you're going to be looking to avoid responsibility. Really struggle with self-control. Okay, um, Staying motivated will be something highly difficult, but you join in on this, you join our membership, you're going to understand how to stay motivated with this access. I've met a lot of people with this access. Okay? Um, uh, how do you leave the house? What is empathy? What is sympathy? But which one does, which one is prioritized? And I'll tell you right now, cancer is prioritizing sympathy. But it doesn't work very well with the North Node or Rahu and, and, and Capricorn with empathy. Putting yourself in the knees of other people's shoes. So with this axis, you attract a lot of people who need you. But when you meet those people, you're going to want to kind of give to them endlessly, right, with this axis instead of understanding how to turn their needs into a career for yourself because you know how to support them innate, right? Okay, so you're going to be dealing with a sense of belonging and struggling with that. And where do I belong? You're not going to know where you belong. We're going to walk through these things in the membership. Um, you know, going deeper into defining your goals. Why is it so difficult for you to set a goal and stay consistent? We're going to understand this in depth. And one of the reasons, again, is you didn't have to, in your past life, provide clothing for yourself or food in your mouth. You had parents that told you, at dinner time, 7 o'clock, dinner time, wake up, brush your teeth, go to school. So in the real world, you may really struggle with learning how to work with timing as well as taking responsibility and not having reactions like a child, trying to get your way with moodiness. That doesn't work with the, uh, Rahu and Capricorn, Rahu in the 10th house. It doesn't work. Okay, so some of the headlines, learning how to take opportunities, understanding why you suck at taking opportunities. If you have this access, you really are not the best at taking opportunity. It is what it is, but you're going to learn how to, with this, uh, this, this course, to take charge, which is what Capricorn is really, really about. Okay, learn how to take charge. Now, as for our sensitivities and finding self-defeating ways and uh, dealing with fears and rejection in the public world, these are the things that we're going to cover in this class. Now, Rahu wants to manifest earthly goals and takes pleasure in taking charge. But you have to be very careful and aware of really silly, outdated, and dependable emotional reactions, depending on emotional reactions, depending on people fulfilling your needs because you, you go ahead and lash out with sorrow or grief or guilt. Cancer likes to gain control like this, but in the, 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 the Rahu and Capricorn wants control through being responsible, having self-control instead, being able to auto-regulate its emotions, okay, and use the negative emotions for a powerful achievement, right? 
Now, K2 is going to be the illusion here, asking us to really look at these insecurities as worthless and to grow the hell up. Okay, we have cancer in the south node, you have the south node in the fourth house, you have to grow the hell up. All right, um, relinquish your moodiness, you won't be rewarded by isolating yourself, which is what the cancer would, would like to do. It likes to isolate itself. Now, I'm gonna take one piece from each from the development category, which you're here to develop, and there's a lot more, and we're gonna go more in depth, but what you're here to develop is learning how to let go. You like to brood and stay stuck in the past and isolate deep into the emotions and the self-reflective habits that instead of using those self-reflective habits to ultimately push you forward in your career, push you forward and to, towards an authentic passion, this is one of the things you're going to be here to develop. Now, one of the illusions is that respect is an internal, an external process, that you're going to respect yourself when other people respect you. The reality is of North Node and 10th House, North Node and Capricorn, no one's going to respect you. You have to demand, earn, and persevere for that respect. No one's going to respect you, but you're going to learn more about this deeper as for why when you come and join our membership this Sunday coming. The Achilles heel is I can't survive without support. That's one of the major Achilles heels. And we have six more other Achilles heels that we're going to talk about. But one of them is I can't survive without support. OK, and you fall into this bottomless pit of needing security from other people and depending on other people. Right now, as for your past identity, part of it is linking right back to that excessive dependence. OK, why? Because you had that identity in a tribe, a farm, a clan. And without that clan, you are nobody. They feed you to the wolves. You're dead. You're not going to last a night. OK, now here's some of your needs, at least one of them is to discover your willpower. Learn how to actually become the boss. Cancer doesn't have a willpower. Cancer doesn't have a, a power of its own. Not until we get to Leo, which is why Leo has to fight so hard. And we did that already. So if you join the membership, you'll get that access on replay. Cancer has to fight really, really hard. It doesn't know how. It doesn't. It didn't get to Leo yet. Leo is when we first discover our willpower, our creative willpower. Cancer's willpower is, again, attached to the tribe, the identity of the clan. Now, as for your superpower, one of the things is you will actually always get what you work for. That's one of the superpowers in this life. Now, you really struggle with working towards something, especially leaving the house to have to go ahead and go get it or showing yourself up in your public persona, which means you could do this from home. But are you on the Internet showing yourself publicly speaking? I don't know. That's a different story. But you will get whatever you want. That's one of your superpowers here. Now, integrity is one of our groups and is to learn to be honest with what you lack. OK, learn to be honest because you don't have a lot of experience in the public world. You don't have a lot of experience in the career space. So there's a lot of lacks. And what will happen is Capricorn North Node or Capricorn 10th House will like to over exacerbate and project these lacks in a way where, oh, well, I know that. And it's like, well, actually, no, you don't because you literally have no experience in this lifetime with that. And so that lie, it really works against Capricorn in the 10th house, Capricorn, Rahu in the 10th house, Rahu in Capricorn. Rahu doesn't like that. And it, its integrity is damaged. And your image is damaged and it may be uh, irreparable. You may not be able to repair that. As for romance, one of the things is intimacy is a really tough thing for you with this 10th house um, uh, in Rahu. Rahu in the 10th house, North Northern 10th house is very difficult for you because intimacy is something where you like to give and you crave intimacy so much that it becomes a crutch where not everybody wants to be intimate with you in the workspace. Most people in the workspace in the real world don't want to be intimate at all. They want to go to work. They want to make their money. They want to go home. So we're going to help you learn how to navigate this in your romantic life because your romance suffers from wanting to be intimate with people that don't want to be intimate with you. Now, one of the affirmations, we have about eight here. One of the affirmations is self-control is my superpower and it earns material success. Self-control is my superpower and earns material success. Now, one of your self-reflection questions is uh, how can I convert this negative feeling into powerful achievements? How can I convert this negative feeling into powerful achievements? Now, I'll give you one more because we have eight apiece. Staying present is how I release the past. Staying present is how I release the past. Because cancer in the South Node is always in the past. K2 will have you stuck there meditating, self-reflecting on everything forever, and you'll never leave, and it'll never satisfy you. Now, one of your self-reflection is, have I written my goals today, and am I on track? Now, one of the things and one of the ways you understand how you're on track for the North Node or Rahu in Capricorn or 10,000 10, Capricorn, you know you're on track when you feel respected in the situation that you're in. Whenever you feel respected, that's how you know you're on track. When you write your goals down and you actually achieve the, what you wrote down, that's when you know you're on track. And when you feel respected for what you did. When you don't feel respected, life is trying to tell you that you're on the wrong career path. So this is my little excerpt. All right. Check in our membership and you'll learn a lot more about this. We're going to be doing a Tai Chi healing of the gut. 
focusing on what are the positive emotions, what are the colors and the auras associated with the stomach, what are the times of the stomach, how do we heal the stomach with Tai Chi practices, okay? I'm talking hands-on practical elements, hands-on practical. Capricorn 10th house is about being hands-on with your career, all right? And this is one of the things that I'm here to do, all right? So this is your Astro Shaman, inspiring brilliance. Yes, we're all called practices in astrology, leveraging esoteric surgery, ladies and gentlemen. And this is one of the ones, the Tai Chi, the Qigong is the esoteric surgery because doing this through the mind, through intelligence is one thing, but to physically do this in your body, this is where the real magic happens and begins. I love you. I'll see you all soon. Hit the thumbs up and the likes button. I thank you for being here.